You can make money the hard way becoming a bullfighter. Or save money the easy way with Xfinity Mobile. It sure beats making money as a human cannonball. Now through March 21st, learn how existing Xfinity customers can get a free line of unlimited intro for a year when they buy one unlimited line. That's hundreds of dollars in savings on your wireless bill. Visit XfinityMobile.com today. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. If you need to hire, you need Indeed. Indeed is your matching and hiring platform with over 350 million global monthly visitors, according to Indeed data, and a matching engine that helps you find quality candidates fast. And Indeed doesn't just help you hire faster. 93% of employers agree Indeed delivers the highest quality matches compared to other job sites, according to a recent Indeed survey. With Indeed, everything hiring is all in one place, and it makes it so easy. Leveraging over 140 million qualifications and preferences each day, Indeed's matching engine is constantly learning from your preferences. The more you use Indeed, the better it gets. Join the more than 3.5 million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. And listeners of this show will get a $75 sponsored job credit to get your jobs more visibility at Indeed.com slash podcast. Just go to Indeed.com slash podcast right now and support our show by saying you heard about Indeed on this podcast. Terms and conditions apply. Indeed.com slash podcast. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Sisters, welcome to Sugarcoated Murder, where we'll discuss and probably inappropriately laugh about and comment on. Yep, one of our favorite subjects, murder. murder. Oh, and we love to bake, and why not combine our two favorite subjects, baking and killers? All right, Ann Varner. All right, Karen Devaney. We have a friend with us today. Yes, it's we our have a guest, friend. Our shorty guest. It's our shorty guest. This is what we call anything but murder, shorty. <laughs> do we really call it that? We really do. And we shouldn't. Well, we do. Okay. Because that's how it's posted. <laughs> so our friend, Farmer Katie. Hi. Introduce yourself. I'm Katie Donahoe. What do you want us to know about you? I want you to know that I am the proud mother of three kids, Willie, Billy, and <laughs> Tina. <laughs> These are real kids, not children. They're dwarf, actually... Yes, dwarf Nigerian goats. Oh my gosh. They are they're siblings. so cute, too. They're adorable, and the we love cutest. to visit them. Yes, their birthday, their first birthday was September 19th. That's so exciting. close to a year and a half old. Oh, that's Did awesome. Did you throw a party? Did throw a party. Made a cake out of a cardboard box and use this is actually bakery stuff oh good we, we use the canned pumpkin like you use for a pumpkin yes. pie and spread it like icing and then took carrots and spelled out the one oh, nice and then they got to eat the box and everything oh nice. my gosh they, they so must have happy. loved it they so happy they're growing up so fast they really are before oh, you know it they'll, they'll be, be off, off to college, to college. <laughs> I know but that they means really they'll are. be able to take care of me when I'm old I hope so because I don't yeah. think anybody else is gonna I don't. I don't think so either. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I hope they remember all Actually, the nice things. Actually, I don't things. think Tina is, but Billy and Willie. Yeah, probably. she's got a little bit of an attitude, but it's yeah. to be expected. She has to hang out with her brothers all day. I feel like she also wants to be taken care of. I she think does. she wants to she be. Does. Yes, and her brothers don't. They take don't care do a good job. They headbutt her. And make I fun know. Of her. We she's, need to find Tina a nice little man. I feel do. like she needs somebody to take care of her. Can she we does. then? Can we then please get one of the goats that faints or Maybe. screams? I would like to have she the one screams, that does. She scream? Does she scream? Does scream yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll have to get a fainting yeah. one. I like the Maybe. fainting goat. This yeah. is like a Match.com for goats. <gasps> I'm I mean, sure. No should if not. There's uh, farmers trademark, we got that one. Copyright, yeah, we're yeah, on it. That's ours. That. Don't we take it. it. No, copyright. don't anybody take it. Going Mines Farm, copyright. <laughs> Goatsonly.com. <laughs> Goatmate.com. Yeah, right. <laughs> so um, tell us how you got started with goats. Like, what's, a, what's well, up with that? Where, where, where you come from, girl? Well, 
know, I grew up in a small little farm in town in South Carolina named Timmonsville, South Carolina. Did you grow up on a farm? I did not grow up on a farm. Okay. In fact, I was about one of the only people that I knew that didn't live on a farm. Um, oh, so we, this maybe stems from yeah, some jealousy. Some farm envy, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. thinking you had farm envy. Tractor envy. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, my dad had the hardware store, so, I, you know, we didn't have a tractor. Mm -mm. Um, you know, you might be onto something I've never really psychoanalyzed. Oh, my you farm. know, leave it to us. We got we, you. We've got, we understand. We got We've it. been through enough therapy. We can just do it ourselves. We're going to take you right down to <laughs> so, your core. Yeah, well, well thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so, so got farm envy. Okay, what, what else so you got? I guess I've, I've grown up with farm envy. I went to Clemson, so that probably just furthered yeah, my right, farm. Because you went right, with a lot of farm envy. people. Yeah, and I, I was in horticulture, and I did horticultural things for about a decade after college, and then... Um, I got my uh, teaching certificate to teach horticulture, and I did that for about another decade after that. And uh, now we're in the third decade. And um, wow, I like how you segment your life yeah, in decades. Yeah, though. I'm only good for about ten years. I mean, that's a, that's a, shows yeah. a little bit of a problem with commitment, maybe. Yeah, but you're also very well adjusted. I am very well adjusted. Yes. Considering. So yeah, now into my third decade of my horticultural career. I've shifted more towards agriculture. We've moved to a little farm, which isn't in a rural area, but is in a small patch of ruralness. It's amazing. Yes. In um, suburban Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Very Home far from what no I would farms. call urban. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, and, you know, it just seemed like the, after moving to the farm, I mean, it just seemed like the next natural thing would be to get goats. I would think so. I mean, you know, goats are all over the internet. I was having some goat envy. I don't oh, blame right. you. I have goat um, envy all the time. Me too. So yes. I got goats, and then I was still having tractor envy, so I got a tractor. That's good. It's what every and, girl um, needs is a tractor. I didn't really have chicken envy, but I did want eggs, so I got chicken. Yeah, so. well, that's good. That's good. Yeah. It's good that you put those two things together. Like, I would like to have some fresh eggs. I'm going to need some chickens. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. for you. That's called deductive Thank reasoning. God. That's Thank deductive God. That's deductive reasoning. about, like, oh, I think I want some bacon, because that would have been yeah. Yeah, well, really bad. Yeah. Or, I mean, it could be that that college education that you got, yeah. you figured out maybe in college that if you want an egg, you're going to need a chicken. Yeah, I think I figured that out post-college. Post-college. Post, I wasn't uh, that yeah. long. You weren't that, <laughs> long. You weren't that learned. No. It's life experience sometimes well, that teaches was you about things. If you want a plant, you put a seed in the ground. I mean, the chicken right. thing was kind of further. That's down very far fetched. You know. That's you got very true. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, now you know. I spent a couple decades just rolling that around. In my I'm head. sure. And then you had to get a chicken before you could get well, the egg. Finally, I figured out the chicken does come first. Right. So yes. I was waiting, waiting, waiting. And no eggs egg. showed up. I moved to a farm. <laughs> check in the coop every day. Where are no my eggs? eggs? No eggs. So yeah. I got chickens. I gotcha. And now I have eggs, and um, yeah, I mean, we don't um, have a plan as of now to get any other species of animals. I'm not opposed to getting more goats or more chickens. We did have a cat show up. Okay. Bob, when Bob, you asked me, Bob, who's yeah, Bob, Bob you know. not her dad. Yeah, not her dad. Said, Bob was your dad. I said, no, Tom's my dad, and Bob's the cat. And Bob it would have cat. been so much more logical had Tom, Tom been, been the cat. cat. Yeah, yeah. But no, that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. It makes sense to me. So, um, what do you do on this farm? What do I do on this farm? Well, I spend a lot of time just petting goats. That's just a wonderful um, life right there. Yeah, and collecting eggs. But when I'm not doing that, I teach. I still teach. I was a high school agriculture teacher for almost 10 years. And so, now I teach uh, college age students and beyond. Uh, mostly veterans that are transitioning from uh, the military to civilian life and want, you know, some of them want to live the goat life. Other ones <laughs> of them just want to live a simpler, simpler life existence. and not, you know, not be in a cubicle or a high-stress environment. So what are you teaching them? You're teaching them how to be farmers? I'm teaching them the farming side of farming and the business side of farming. So is the is like farming one on one how to put on the overalls properly? It, it, that's part of it. So that's yeah. so have they all passed that? Oh well, no, class just started last week. Oh, so, so they not, have it. Okay, we're not quite there, there yet. Now, I mean, last semester's group 
is fully overall certified. Okay, good. They have their tractor driver's licenses. Okay. What else have they done? Um, there's just so many things. So, I mean, do they muck things? Because I think sometimes no, don't you muck it's, it's on a farm? More, um, they more just kind of hang out with the animals. I don't make them do those things. The, okay. only, the only, like, hands-on dirty tasks they have to do have to do with the plants. Plants. Like, Pulling weeds and planting and composting, that sort of thing. So, do you teach them, like, the science side of agriculture? Like, you know, like, how to turn your soil? That I seems do. like an important thing to know. I or do. when to plant what? Because, like, I don't know. When do you plant cotton as opposed to planting corn as opposed to soybeans? Like, I'm sure yeah. everything has a season, from what I understand, yeah. from that song it's about yeah. the seasons. Yeah. Everything you just mentioned is all in the same season, so you'd have to pick between Oh, see, I had no idea. Or you would need to have multiple <laughs> A really fields. big yeah. farm. Really yeah. terrible farmer already. I am a horrible yeah. farmer. Well, I didn't even figure out how to put the overalls on. But Now, in order to, do you have to be a veteran to take that class? You do not have to, but if you are, Boeing will pay for you to take it. I oh, understand. Boeing pays for that. That's nice. Yeah, it is nice. Shout out to Boeing. Boeing. Woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Okay. That's um, good. Well, I don't. I'm not a veteran. I don't play one on TV. No. I don't have any connections to... You Boeing. can marry one because it's veterans and their family members. Oh. But Just maybe saying. You, you could do like a... There's a whole other service we could start. Or you could get adopted by a veteran to take a farming class. Or, I mean, maybe you she needs to go farm, on a farming veterans dating site. Or, you know what? You could adopt a veteran. Oh, because right now be the I have mom. a mom and son in the class that just started last week, which is fun. That's nice. And he's the veteran, and she's like the family member, and they're taking it together. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Really yeah. I really like the idea of matching her up with a farming veteran. Yeah. And then having her take the class so that she can then join him on his like a dating farm. class. A dating. Only we're learning farming. Maybe this will be part of GoatsOnly.com. Maybe. Like Maybe this would will be a spinoff. Be right. a, a human connection. Yeah. That's true. That's very true. I think oh, we're, we're on to something. something. Right. Yeah. Big business. You will put a here. picture of you and your goat. You need to get a goat. Well, couldn't she just borrow yours? Yeah, yeah, we just put a picture. You know, I yeah, mean, I don't think everybody I don't lies don't on their think online that my dating condo pictures. Association is going to allow me to have a goat. Well, why would you tell them? I agree. You just walk the goat around. Billy and... goes to elementary schools and struggling readers read to him, and he walks on a leash with a vest as if he were a dog. I mean, if you don't look closely, you wouldn't even know. Now, let's talk about the pooping aspect of that. Yeah, but the, well, all like, animals poop. Right, but there's some you can't do it in your house, right? Yeah, yeah, you can. Can you, you train, train them? There's also diapers. There's go diapers. When he goes to school, does he wear a diaper? No, no, we do these activities outside. They're outdoor I, activities. I, you know, I do a lot of things, but putting diapers on goats is just out of my um, pay grade. So I, I've heard that their intelligence level is about the same as a dog. So if you can train house train a dog, you would be able to house train a goat. Is this a fact, Katie? This is a fact, and just from my personal experience, I feel like my goats are a lot smarter than most of the dogs I've met. But they are definitely trainable. They know their names. They come. I say, time to go to the barn. They go to the barn. Um, and as with all living creatures, really, not just dogs, they are trained with food, you know. That's you how my mama trained me. You do the thing I want you to do. Here's, here's a treat. <laughs> I continue That's to how, be trained by Yeah, them. somehow I stopped the training but kept up with the food. Yeah, so. Yeah, okay. So we're on to then. something, Sugar. We I think there, there's still hope for you having a goat, yeah. especially a little pygmy goat. Oh, no, yeah, because like those are little. I mean, yeah. they're, you yeah, know, they're little. Little. getting bigger than they are right now. Yeah, I think that I might have Maybe to Maybe you should it. start by doing some overnights with Tina. Mm -hmm. Some overnights. I do have a recliner in the barn if you can sleep in a recliner. Right. I was That's... hoping she would take Tina to her house and do an overnight <laughs> I thought you meant an overnight here. <laughs> no, that would not work. Like, things have taken a turn. <laughs> <laughs> things have taken a turn. Sleep in the barn. My option is to that. sleep in the barn in a, what I can only suspect mouse infested recliner at this point. <laughs> no, no, we have a giant rat snake. No mice in the barn. Oh, good oh. God, a rumble. <laughs> It's uh, over six feet long. Does he live in there? Well, I mean, he intermittently lives in there. It's a good thing I haven't seen that critter because yeah. I'd have jumped right into the rafters. Yeah. I would have been like a goat up on the roof and I wouldn't come down. His name is Fred. All of Fred? our animals have human names. Well, of course they do. Yeah, you got to do that. Yeah. All right. 
Fred, drop so, dead Fred. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of drop dead, we yes. we've known you now for for a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's something that you don't know about us, Uh-oh. the crazy sisters, that we feel like we really just need to go ahead and lay out on the table so All that right. you can. Well, I don't judge. You learn. Know I know that. that's the best thing about you. I think that's why we love you so much. Yeah. My yes. sister and I are, in fact, plant murderers. <gasps> we are plant murderers. We um, always have the best intentions. I will need the smell and sun. <laughs> we buy the, Where is the that nice scent couch? I can't even keep a damn air plant alive. Me neither. I wow. have a porch that has probably six beautiful air plant carcasses. I even have an air carcasses. an air plant carcass hanging in my living room from a shell, so it looks like a jellyfish. Me too. Mine's in my bathroom. But I can't take the dead plant out because then it wouldn't look like a jellyfish. No, so it wouldn't. It would just, it would just look like some stupid shell hanging yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. We're not good. Well, we have two solutions to oh, your good. involuntary okay. plant slaughter. <laughs> and problems. sometimes I not only kill the plant, but I, I tend to torture it to death. Uh, like it is not a fast thing. It is yeah. a slow, it's on a, a slow, slow burn decline. and it yeah. is torturous for that plant. Well, I will say that I do have one plant that sits on my desk at work that started out as a tiny, tiny little plant and is now ginormous. Ginormous. Well, the fact that you told me it started out small and is now large leads me to believe it is living. Because for a minute, I yes. thought you were saying I have a plant on my desk and it looks great. And I was wondering if it was not real. But since no. it's grown, it's probably No, real. and it's one. I can't remember what the name of it. Something about a million babies. Because it has these little oh, yeah. baby things mm-hmm. that hang off of it. Up the edge of the leaf. Yeah, yeah. and then when they fall Mother off, of millions. Mother of millions. That's yes. it. Yes. I love like that. That's going to be Tina one day. And I'm... Aww. Aww. Are you going to breed Tina? I hope so. She's going to have a million I mean, babies. don't we want to have goat babies? I, oh, my gosh. My this head just exploded. breaking news, people. My <laughs> head just news. exploded. I heard wow. it first here. I had no oh. idea that was your intention. I just yeah. figured you had them all fixed. No. Billy and Willie are fixed. Good. So they don't, don't impregnate want to... Tina. No, that would be so shady. not fixed. In <gasps> fact, oh, she I'm was basically, so... um, what's the word, like... Proposed by a goat <gasps> suitor on Friday night. No oh, way. I was at a basketball game um, at another school that has an agricultural program, and I know the teacher. And she said, You know, we have plenty of lovely little billy goats if you ever want to breed Tina. Holy and I moly. Said, wow. And she said she had a special one in mind for her. And I said, Well, I'm not quite ready yet. Well, I don't think Tina's ready but, either. Um, She's not ready. You know, She's still to trying point, to be a, a kid. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Breaking Aww. news. Tina That's is not so Tina is not fixed. That's the right. breaking. That is the breaking news. Wonderful. She is footloose and fancy we free. Could be ants. She is. We could be ants. goat ants. Goat yeah. ants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We call us gants. Gants. Yes. Gants. Well, we've been called much worse. We have yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So back, back to the, the plant murder. Back to the, the yeah. To the, the two. You got two solutions: the involuntary plant slaughter. Okay. One, I suspect. I mean, I don't know because I haven't reviewed the evidence. I haven't seen the bodies. You know, you haven't. But just based on previous crimes, um, you probably love them to death. Mm. Most people. Well, most people know that they need to water plants, and so unless you just never watered it i mean that could be the answer but if you have watered it and it died you probably watered it too much most people love their plants right straight into the grave oh uh, because too much water can kill a plant just like no water can okay. kill a plant. but here's the difference is how you tell how do you know if a plant needs water what does it look like thirsty, thirsty. it's droopy droopy another word for droopy starts with a w wilted Wilted. Yay. Yay. Oh. Can you tell I'm a teacher? And you can um, tell we are horrible so, students. <laughs> now that we know what a thirsty plant looks like, let's talk yes. about what a overwater plant looks like. It's another word. Starts with a W. It looks waterlogged. Wild. Guess what? Woolly. It's Wil- wilty. Oh. Oh. So it's that's the same. Where you the tricked us. It's the same word. Is. Yeah. I was worried about the W words y'all were going to throw out, so I just went ahead and told you. I can see on your, your brain. I was like, like woolly. Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, when your plant looks wilty, you can't just automatically give it water. When your plant okay. looks wilty, stick your finger oh, in the soil. Oh, we have no. gone way 
that's that's very private. Private. That's very <laughs> private. Because if you just visually look at it, it could be dry on top and then still be moist. Or I don't like that word. I don't, I don't like the word. But listen, I could do a whole shorty just on the word moist. There is nothing that should be moist except for cake. That's the only word I agree. that has Amen. a positive Amen. association Amen. with Preach moist. Preach it. Preach it. Yes. Yes. Um. Anyway. Mm-hmm. You test the soil and whatever method you can get below the soil line. If the soil is <laughs> damp, how about damp? Okay, if it is I like damp, that. it does not need water. If it is dry, it does. So that is option one. Do a little more investigative work on okay. watering. Or if you're not watering, Karen. Um, Sometimes I just forgot, forget that I even had the plant. And then yeah, one day I just I happened by it. I'm like, dang, I forgot you were there like two weeks yeah, ago. You should do that with your children, you know. I'm not uh, saying I have it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different podcast. True, true, true. <laughs> um, the other option is a store called Hobby Lobby. <laughs> well, there's one called Michael's, too. It is. Um, Don't and promote one and not the other. a lovely assortment of very realistic-looking plants that do not need any water. But my thing about that is some of them look, they do look really fake, and you don't get the same benefits because no, you don't get the plants clean the air for us. That is true. Not to mention that we were raised by a woman who told us that plastic plants were tacky. Very tacky. They are tacky. I've even had, I do a little container planting on the side to supplement farming income. Yeah, I, I know. Asked me if I could plant, you know, like by their front door, their little yeah. window boxes, if I could do them with fake plants. And I, I just tell them it's against my morals. And but, my, yeah, that's yeah, against my religion. Refer them to those two stores. Yes. But, and we've uh, had... Yeah. Gorgeous plant boxes. When we were in a oh, wedding yes. a couple of years ago, and the the bride and bride allowed us to take home some beautiful planters, and they had taken great care to do the filler, thriller, spiller situation. Yes. Oh, very good. Yes. They were so beautiful. I and think mine lasted like not even a month. I'm not sure mine made the car ride home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. But we had had, what was it we were drinking? The Japanese sake. Yes. We had a lot of sake we at their did. wedding. Yeah. And, and it was that they, they had a little sake bar where they would heat it up for you and, yeah. and, and it went down really good when it was warm. So we got in the car I do love with sake. all of our plants mm-hmm. and uh, we did get the giggles quite a bit. So mm-hmm. yeah. You know, sake comes from plants too, rice. Rice. Really? Mm-hmm. Rice wine. Now, have you thought about growing rice? Sake? <laughs> I actually am growing some rice. <gasps> you have you a have rice patty? <laughs> well, so well, well don't I have it. my boots on. Can we go walk Rice in? Rice patties are actually just um, a method of controlling weeds. Like the water comes in and sits there long enough to kill the weeds, but the rice can take the standing water longer than the weeds can, and then you let the water back out. So rice can grow, not. Oh, I had no idea. I had no idea. Patty, so it. I'm just growing it in pots, um, and I'm growing the Carolina Gold Rice. <gasps> I love you know, that. It's my favorite rice. Historical plants. That's awesome. So, yes. so before we leave, perhaps you mayhaps you show us. May ha- I can show you. They're tiny and they're in the greenhouse, but I can it's show okay. You. We can look at them. We I just have never seen a rice plant ever. Yeah, it looks like grass out of your yard right now. Okay, well don't yeah. don't shoot down my it's a monocot, excitement. You know, the, it's the, a what? The group of plants um, leading. Oh wow! You're leading what? Are you allowed to see that? <laughs> Oh, Am I allowed to say that? Do you need later? a prescription for that? <laughs> uh, not in South Carolina. Oh, okay. <laughs> or Colorado. Oh. <laughs> huh. So yeah, I will show you. Okay. It That's is, good. Uh, I guess the moral of that story is it's uh, closely related to the grass family. It looks very grass-like. Okay. Wispy. 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 Another, another w-, w word. Wow. <laughs> wow. Another w oh, word. Oh, <laughs> the letter W. Right. <laughs> yes. This shorty is brought to you by the letter W. Absolutely. Like Sesame Street. Yes. 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 Except yes. not goats. That's not a W word. Willie. It's a W word. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we can call them what goats. What goats. We could. <laughs> we could. <laughs> Say what goats. There you go. So, wow. um. Do you have any fun facts about goats? Do you I have do. ten? 
Oh, you have ten goats. fun? No, I, I know you don't have ten yes, goats. Yes, I have ten fun facts. I mean, some of them are about my specific goats. I don't care. Goats no, general, I need them ten. I, we we'll, need to go from we'll from start, bottom to top. We'll stop big and then get more. Gen, um, we'll yeah, start so we're gonna go. Specific, we're gonna go number so. ten. Let's hear uh, it. The fun part of this is I do remember y'all told me about doing ten facts, and I completely forgot to just now. So these are truly like oh, just wow. off the top of your head. head. 100% true. Wow. I love um, it. Most of them are going. I mean, we get down to two and one. That's the thing about us. We surround ourselves. So, uh, very smart, smart people and, and we like, and then we, we know too. better than to question them right. in case they're yeah. not oh, as yeah. smart as we thought oh, yeah. well yes. this is the great thing about being a teacher you've got the people who are there to learn and they don't know so if you tell a complete lie they don't know no. we'll, know. Like, we'll be like, like oh that's wow. awesome goats have seven hearts I never knew that <laughs> so we'll start out with the first fact okay goats do not have seven hearts <laughs> <laughs> How many That's do they have? 10. They have one. Just okay. one. One being no heart. heart. Fun okay. fact number nine. Yes. Goats have four stomachs. Oh. Just like a cow. Oh. Those are called ruminants. Ruminants. And now, they ruminate. So do they chew cud? Yep. So okay. if you um, you know, look out the window on any given day, they're sitting on the back porch doing their bottom lip, just chewing their cud. So they eat something. They send it to the first stomach. They bring it back up. They chew it. They send it to the second. Bring it back up, and so on and so on until it comes out in the form of fun fact number eight: a goat berry, which oh. looks just like a raisinette. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's more it. perfectly round. I mean, a raisinette's kind of misshapen. I mean, these yeah. things it's are like really. It's like a, it's a it's a it, nature. It's, a it's like one of nature's miracles. It's nature's confetti, really. It really I is. Mean, if we would just go to that rather than confetti, it'd be much more. I mean, more goat uh, berries, sustainable. Yeah. They really are friendly. berries, and they're all exactly the same size, and they're all uniform in shape. It's the right. it is a miracle, right? And a you miracle. know how they're um, you know, trying to get away from some of the post wedding things that right. are oh, yeah. uh, wildlife friendly and balloons and rice. Yes. Goat fetty. Goat, goat fetty. Goat There's fetty. another one. Trademark. You know, Got I it. can see it right now. The, mm-hmm. the people that meet on our website, when they get married, we will shower yes. them with and goat, goat berries. Yes. yes. And that's oh. got to have like some kind of a special meaning for your marriage. Like, Absolutely. Certainly. Because your marriage is rooted in the goat. Right? Yes. The goat waste. The goat waste. Yeah. But let Another no goat, goat waste be wasted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let no goat waste go to waste. No. We that wouldn't want that. That could be the tagline mm-hmm. for the company. Absolutely. Waste is another I W word. I feel like we're having a brainstorm session <laughs> more than for sure. I mean, look at the magic that's happening in this I room know, right I, now. It's I mean, crazy. I, you know, I'm not going to lie. I feel like we have Steve Jobs and I know. Michael I Jackson. And <laughs> Michael Jackson. I don't know. I don't, I feel like I I don't want Michael Jackson in here. <laughs> I feel like I need an important woman in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody. somebody. It's just somebody. Somebody, Paula Dean. There, there you go. go. I feel like we have Steve Jobs and Paula Dean brainstorming the exactly. universe. Exactly. Yes, and yeah. Madame Curie. Is and it sad that the most important woman I can think of is Paula, Paula Dean? Dean? Well, and she's alive, right? That's true. I mean, she's as alive of yesterday, and I don't know. As, as of this second, morning, there were somebody, no, there's no breaking hey, headlines. Hey, Paula Dean. <laughs> Don't even know. Um, you never know what's been happening. So, all right, we're on goat fat number seven. Goat yes. fat number seven is their pupils are not round like ours. They're more oval, um, and that's because they can see 180 degrees. They can see all the way to the left and the right when they're looking forward. So, if a predator comes up, they know. Awesome. Wow. Way to go, right. guys. Good job, guys, with your pupils. Yeah. All right. Fun fact number six. As you may or may not know, blue eyes are recessive in humans. Okay. So, um, you know, you got to have two two parents with the recessive gene to get blue eyes in humans. But with goats, uh, blue eyes are dominant. So, I love that uh, about them. It's very easy to get blue eyed goat babies. No, which are so oh, they are so stop cute. it. So. A, a little side note: okay. I did not know, mm-hmm. and I feel like. It's kind of my duty as a human to pass it along. Okay, you know, I'm ready for it. You don't know stuff, and you find out something, you better tell people. Just share it. I did not know that kittens were born blue eyes. Did y'all know that? I did not. So Bob, the cat, kitten, showed up on the farm. He's been a couple months now, but he was teeny tiny. He was a little and he guy. Had, I hope he was like that big. He was only like four Aww. weeks old. Got abandoned. His mama got eaten by coyotes. <gasps> 
I thought that, but I've seen her since. Um, <laughs> she's just a bad mom. That's how she got me to take you because I yeah. thought she was gone. I got eaten uh, by the coyotes. You know, this tiny little thing with blue eyes, and I'm like, oh, he's so precious. Well, a friend of mine was like, oh, he is young. His eyes are still blue. You know they're going to change. And I'm thinking, like, well, I wouldn't have kept him if I knew. But <laughs> oh, now no. we have him, and his eyes yeah. have changed. They're kind of like gray looking. Oh. But oh, it's we still love Bob. It's fine, yeah. Bob's fine. In fact, I don't know if y'all know, there's a song. I mean, it's not really on the radio anymore, but it was popular maybe about six months ago, and it was like, uh, she's sweet, but she's psycho. <laughs> um, and my daughter just pointed out this morning that that song, if you listen to that song, the lyrics are exactly about Bob. Oh, that's good. Oh, he is sweet, but he's psycho. Psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's well, more of a... Um, again, another, thing. another kindred spirit to yeah. me, but yeah. And that leads us, as a perfect segue, I had to circle right back around. That you're leads like, us into like fun fact show number host. five about show pony. Um, <laughs> a show goat. You're my uh, show There pony. are show goats, by the way. I know. Like a 4-H people, they show their goats. Yeah, they do all day long. Mm-hmm. So, um, I have lost my train of thought lately. Oh, no, <laughs> don't lose the goat facts. we, we got to stay with the goat back facts. Around. Uh, <laughs> Just pull back, fact out of your box. Fun fact number five is there are show goats. <laughs> and um i did not know this but i was just told this last week that tina's physique and her coloring and everything um would make her the perfect show goat um no wonder she's got an attitude so she kind of knows like mm-hmm. you know i'm special you know, big stuff the yeah. arches so you know maybe in addition to impregnating her i might show her as well i don't oh, know okay. to be that's very exciting to be determined yeah you didn't hear that here i don't want her to know that yeah. we would never so, tell her her, her ego is her already ego is, over yeah, it's overdrive uh but anyway now we'll head to um fun fact number four fun fact number four is the goats are pickier eaters than the chickens. What? This is, now this is now we've now widowed down widowed. Widowed another W word. <laughs> we've whittled. <laughs> we've whittled <laughs> down to um look at Billy scratching his butt on that tree while he walked away. Well um, <laughs> we've whittled bit. down to a fact that's specific to my goats. My goats are pickier eaters than my chickens. Like you would think that goats would eat anything because they eat poison ivy, they eat things with thorns, but um if I just have scraps, you know, kitchen scraps, compost things, um, the chickens will eat anything. The goats, they'll eat some things and other things. They're like, yeah, no, we're not eating that. Wow. Um, so that's fun fact number three about my goats. Fun fact number two, um, I feel like we've spent a lot of time talking about Tina. So I'm going to give you a fun fact about Willie. Willie is a unicorn. <gasps> What? Willie had two horns, and he ripped one off. Oh, gosh. Oh, and now he has one. So he's a unicorn. He really he's is. A um, he's a goat yeah. corn. This is a magical farm. It is, it is magical. very magical. Um, mm-hmm. He rips it off, being a bully. So oh. I felt bad for him until Willie, I mean, until Billy and Tina told me the story of how oh, it happened. Right, right. So he likes to, um, when they eat out of the hay feeder, he likes to butt everyone out of the way, and, like, he eats first, and they kind of have a pecking order. So do the chickens, so I've heard. Yes. Um, and anyway, he, you know, uh, rocks his head side to side to move them out of the way, and he got his little horn stuck in the hay feeder and ripped it off. Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, now Tina told on him. Well, yeah. But, I, you know, you can't believe Tina. But then for several days after the event, uh, Willie did not want to go eat out of the hay feeder, so I do feel like the evidence points to. In what that did Billy right? say? Uh, Billy said nothing. He said he's, he doesn't you know, say much. Billy's one of those, uh, you know, <laughs> silent types. Well, he's a silent type, but he's also very loyal. He's very loyal. Very loyal. But he's loyal. not going to throw Willie under the bus. No, and I, the yeah, there's that brother bond right there. It's the brother bond. Yeah, like it's you no can wonder water Tina board gets me, an attitude. Another W word. Yes, yeah. another uh, water aborting. You know, brought to you from I'm, Sesame Street. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not talking on the matter. So. Okay. All right. So All we right. came to the, the conclusion that yeah. he lost his horn, being a bully, and now he's a unicorn. Yeah. I. Don't, I mean, I'm sorry that it happened to him, but I'm not sorry that it happened to him because yeah. the outcome is he real it's special. Karma. Yeah. It was karma. It was karma, yeah. and now he's special. Right. You know. Yeah. You you be a bully, one of your body parts will get rid of me. That's right. Can't feel sorry for you. No, no. Okay. Are we down to number one? We're down to number one. This is about all three goats 
and specifically the Growing Minds Nonprofit Educational Farm home to Willie, Billy, and Tina. Little Billy, by the way, has his own Instagram. Little Billy almost died last year uh, because he was the runt and too little, but he has made a strong comeback. He's still smaller than everyone else. Uh, and you can find him on Instagram at Little Billy the Goat. Uh, what he lacks in size, he makes up for in kindness. But that's not even fun fact number one. That's just a fat toy off to the side. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fun fact number one is anybody out there in America, I mean, not just in Charleston, in America, on New Year's Eve, they had visitors from Delaware, <gasps> Chicago, and Washington, D.C. So anyone, anywhere can visit. Willie, Billy, and Tina every Tuesday and the first Saturday of the month by going on to Airbnb, going to Charleston, South Carolina, looking at their experiences, not their places to sleep, but their experiences. Just put in animals or whatever. It's the only goat-guided farm tour. I love it's a goat guide. It's also the only goat experience. There's a few goat experiences, but ours is the only one with five stars, and it's the cheapest. <gasps> Um, and you can meet Willie, Billy, and Tina in person any Tuesday or the first Saturday of the month. Special request, just send us a message, and they may or may not be available. Oh. That is your fun fact number Thank five. you, Katie. Hey. I'm so excited to know the oh fun facts. Gosh. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you so much for having us out on your very special magical farm. We thank love it you. here. Thank you. Yes. And, um... You've, you've well promoted what you need to promote, but is there anything else you want to promote before we cut you off? No, I mean, I just want to give a shout out to the letter W, and uh, thank you ladies for coming out today. Well, thank, thank you, you so much, us. Katie. This has been a joy and a pleasure, and I hope everybody listening to this can stay sweet. Absolutely. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye. You can make money the hard way becoming a bullfighter or save money the easy way with Xfinity Mobile. It sure beats making money as a human cannonball. Now through March 21st, learn how existing Xfinity customers can get a free line of unlimited intro for a year when they buy one unlimited line. That's hundreds of dollars in savings on your wireless bill. Visit XfinityMobile.com today. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. 